Good morning and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to do a few exercises that work our core. Um, I think it's really uh, important to work your core often as you need core strength for every aspect of your daily life. And I think it does a nice job to bring your, your middle together. It defines your obliques, it pulls in your abdominals, um, lifts your buttocks. So without further ado, we're gonna do some core work. Um, we're going to start in a seated position and we're going to roll down with purpose. So we're gonna tuck our chin to our chest, round our backs in a C curve, almost like it's scooping, like the scoop of an ice cream scooper. Extend your arms and then just lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Awesome, and you're gonna finish by pulling your pushing your um, spine into the floor and just making yourself comfortable. From here, we're going to lift our legs into tabletop position, and that's a 90 degree angle bend um, at our knees. And we're going to extend our arms up to the ceiling. Now, the least challenging way to do this exercise would just be to, again, keeping your belly button pulled into the floor, you're gonna drop your heels to the floor with control and your arms are going to extend over your head. And then you're going to pull it back in. So you're going to inhale as you lift or extend your limbs and then exhale as you pull them back up. Now, as we want to um, make this exercise a little bit more challenging, once you've, you've um, tried the first way a few times and it's a little too easy for you, you wanna step up your game, you're again gonna start with your arms extended above your shoulders. And this time, rather than tapping your heels down, you're going to extend them out. But you are keeping your lower back on the floor throughout the second um, part of this exercise or the middle of the road challenge-wise. Now, finally, we're gonna come up to a seated position. I'm gonna slide back a little bit and I'm going to come into the boat position with my arms extended. Now, from here, I'm going to extend back and I'm gonna reach and then here you can kind of decide which is more comfortable for you and then you're gonna pull back in. Now this is definitely challenging. Um, it really works your abdominals, it works your lower back, and it's a great all around exercise for your, um, your abdominals and your lower back. Now I'm gonna quickly do a move, show you a move that incorporates your obliques a little bit more. So you're going to come into a plank position with your arms extended straight down from your shoulders. Now I did say that we wanted to work our obliques, but you can also work your lower abdominals um, just changing the way you pull your knee in. So I'm gonna pull my knee in straight toward my, um, my left knee is reaching for my left um, wrist and then I would return and then reach and return. Now if I wanna incorporate my obliques a little bit more, which are the muscles on the sides of your abdominals, you're gonna pull that knee out toward that elbow this time, and then back. And this really works your legs as well. So these are great exercises to work your core. And again, I can really feel this in my obliques, but also in my the top part of my legs. If you're looking for a strong core, then don't look any further than some great mat exercises. These exercises can all be done with or without a fitness loop. And this just adds it a little bit more of a challenge to it. I look forward to your comments or questions. So email me at befitforlife73 at gmail.com. Thank you.